You should have already created a repository and added me to it or your instructor. I'm going to make a new repository. I'm going to call it web-105 and I'm going to make it private and I'm going to initialize it and I'm going to create the repository. So you may have already done those steps. You should have also added me or your instructor. And that's under collaborators. And so if it's me, it's Mary Ingall. If it's your instructor other than me, you'll need to look for your instructor's MCC email address. For some reason, my email address doesn't pull up correctly. So for mine, it's just Mary Ingall, M-E-R-I-E-N-G-E-L, no spaces. So once you've got that done, you're going to want to bring all of your Web 105 and I'm still doing some updates, but I can go out here and pull up my Web 105 folder, and I don't have everything up here, but I got a lot of it up here. Um, it's still loading. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring all of your top level files, your index, your favicon, things like that, your CSS files. So I've got my styles, and I've got my index page. I got a couple in here because I've been playing with it, and I've got my favicon. And so I've uploaded the things that need to be at the top level, which should be your index styles and favicon. And then you will put in a comment here. And then you want to commit changes. Now you're going to need to replicate your folder structure. And so I don't have all of mine loading, mine synchronizing with my web page right now, but I'm going to put up the YouTube and the initial one because those are the ones that order just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to create a new file. This is how you create a folder. So it's going to be initial and then index.html because each one of your folders should have that. We're going to replace it, but we have to create it to create the folder. So create index file is fine. We're going to commit the file that's created the initial folder. Now I can go out to my initial folder and this one I think only has a few things in it so I can grab those and drop it and then I'm going to commit those changes. And then if I go into Web 105 you'll see that I have my top level and then my folder has all of those files in it. So we're going to go back up here and YouTube's out there. That one doesn't have a lot of files in it. It's got the index and styles. So we're going to create a new file. Again, this is how you create a folder. So it's going to be YouTube index.html. You'll need to do this for every file in your Web 105 folder. You want it to match the structure of what you have online. That's not what I wanted. So I'll go back into Web one oh five. Let's try that again. So it will be YouTube. And what happened, what went wrong, and I don't always delete my mistakes because you're likely to make the same ones. What happened is I forgot to commit. Once I commit the new file, then I'm where I can take these over here. And I, can, I named it index, but I'm going to replace it with these updates. So I'm going to have my index and my styles. And code you can go to and you can actually look at. And it'll show you all your code up here, which is really handy. But if you look at your images 
I think they come up just as images. It wouldn't track those, but yeah, you can see that's me with my oldest son. So everything's up here. To hand it in, just go to the top level, grab the link up here, and hand that in on Canvas.